I'll take your bouquet. I'm going to hand you the microphone, Rachel. And for the first time as the Rose of Tralee 2022, would you please address the people of Tralee and all the people who have come to visit as part of this festival. I think the most fitting place to start would be for a huge round of applause for all these women standing up here. Each and every one of these girls is so worthy of this sash and are so amazing and talented and intelligent and hardworking in their own ways. Ever since I arrived in Tralee last week, it's been nothing but magic. We've been treated so well and with so much kindness and hospitality and I'm sure everyone will agree that after the last few years with COVID, we need this buzz back. And it's great to see everybody out lying in the streets again. Um, I want to just say a special thank you to my escort, Paul. He was um, when I was look, when I was asked what I wanted in an escort, I said I just want someone that there's no airs or graces with them. And Paul, there's certainly no airs or graces with you. I also want to say thank you to my amazing rosebud Fia, who has been an amazing friend to me the last few days. And I wouldn't be surprised if she was stood up here someday. To Anthony and Una and everyone else involved, all the chaperones, everyone behind the scenes. This has been the most amazing experience of my life. I don't I still can't believe this is happening. <laughs> but the thing that makes the Rose of Tralee is the people involved and to see what's going on here today and, and what they've done with the place, it's just exceptional. And Obviously, a huge thank you to my Rose Centre, to my family and to my friends who come down and support us. To everyone in Westmead. I'm so proud to be a Westmead woman. But I think you'll understand if I say this today. Fair play to you, Rachel, uh, from coming from what just happened up near to you to say those beautiful words in front of your class of 22. And in front of the people of Tralee.